Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to learn on subtopic 10.4, the mechanism of bullet plotting. And I hope you are ready with your paper and pen and let's do this. Okay, so before we begin, as usual, let's look at the learning standard. So in this chapter uh, subtopic, you should be able to justify the necessity for blood clotting mechanism. That means why blood clotting is important. And then describe the blood clotting mechanism. And describe health issues related to blood clotting, which is thrombosis, embolism, and hemophilia. Alright? Okay, now let's look at the necessity of blood clotting mechanism. Now what is blood clotting mechanism? Blood clotting is actually a process by which the blood coagulates to form solid masses. Solid masses are like red blood cells, white blood cells, and also the platelets in a fibrin network. All right. Now, the purpose of uh, blood clotting. What is the purpose of blood clotting? It actually prevents excessive loss of blood and sudden drop in blood pressure, which may actually cause death. All right. It also prevents the microorganism entry and also the foreign particles into the body and it also helps to form scab which actually helps in wound healing and lastly it helps in maintaining blood circulation in the closed system okay now let's look at the mechanism of blood clotting now if blood vessels are wounded okay the collagen fibers in the wall of the vessel the collagen fibers in the wall of the vessels will be exposed to the blood Platelets will be activated and they will become quite sticky. So when they are sticky, they will stick on the exposed collagen fibers to form coagulated platelets. Okay, or we call it as plug. Now, then what happens? Now, the coagulated platelets will actually release enzyme. We call it as thrombokinase or we call it as thromboplastin. Okay, thromboplastin here. So now with the presence of calcium ion and also vitamin K, the thrombokinase will actually convert the prothrombin an inactive uh, protein okay into thrombin so it will be activated the thrombin will be activated proto protomin is just relaxing you know having fun no issues and no problems and then you know blood clots has to start to work so when it start to work thrombin will be activated through thromboplastin with the help of uh, calcium ions and also vitamin k so this all happens in the plasma now thrombin is an active enzyme which catalyzes the conversion of fibrinogen, a soluble protein, which is soluble, it's just you know, flowing nicely, okay, and into fibrin. So fibrinogen will be converted into fibrin. Now, it's from soluble to insoluble. You know, you have to be insoluble so that it can actually form a network of uh, protein fibers on the wound surface to trap the blood cell and form a blood clot. Okay, so you can see here, um, Sorry, you can see in the third picture here where the blood clot is formed, the fibrin uh, network is produced. Okay, and um, so now uh, form a network, the vessel, form a blood clot, and close the wound. Okay, so here when the blood clots serum, uh, which is a blood plasma without fibrinogen, will be seen flowing out of the wound in the form of clear yellow fluid. Okay, so you can see your uh, wound becomes very yellowish. All right, and then, okay, and then the blood clot will dry up and actually form scab. Okay, the wound will uh, heal under the scab. So the scab actually helps wound healing. So it prevents any other microorganism from entering through your wound. Okay. Okay, now let's look at the health issues related to blood clotting mechanism. So the first thing we are going to see is hemophilia. Now, hemophilia is a genetic disease that interrupts the mechanism of blood clotting. It happens because of a defect in one of the clotting factor genes on the X chromosome. 
Okay, hemophilia tends to occur in males since the gene can actually be passed from mother to son. Males typically lack of the second X chromosome, so they are unable to make up for the defective gene. But most females, they have the XXX chromosome. So while most males, they only have the X and the Y sex chromosome. So females can actually be carriers of hemophilia, but they are unlikely to have this order. For the girl to actually have hemophilia, she must actually have an abnormal gene on both of her X chromosome. And this is very rare. Okay, now the blood of hemophilia actually lack one or more clotting factors that may cause the blood to clot very slowly or it cannot clot at all. So this results the hemophilia to die or it may die as a result of excessive blooding even due to a small wound so they can't actually stop the bleed and they have uh, if they have small uh, in spontaneous inner bleeding they can also die now a common hemophilia is actually hemophilia a which is caused by deficiency of factor 8 in the blood a clotting factor now hemophilia cannot be cured but it can be treated through blood transfusion or injection of a deficient clotting factor for example, uh, injection of the clotting factor A for hemophilia A patient so that they can actually uh, heal their wound. Okay. Okay, now let's look at thrombosis and embolism. They are much connected to one another. Now, thrombosis is a blood clot that is formed in the artery or vein. Okay, and they stay stationary at its place. It doesn't move. Thrombosis happens when the formation of thrombus in the blood vessel interrupts the blood flow in the artery and also the vein. Okay, now embolism is a thrombus that moves and is carried in the blood flow. Okay, so you can look at the picture. So this is an embolus. Alright, now embolism happens when embolus gets stuck in a tiny blood vessel and blocks the blood flow. Okay, now thrombosis is triggered when the wounded cells in the blood vessel produces thrombokinase and starts the process of blood clotting. Now, the defect on the inner surface of the wall of the blood vessels or a blood flow which is too slow may pile up the clotting factor and then start the process of blood clotting. Now, effect of thrombosis and embolism. The blood clot is, which is blocked in the artery will actually prevent the blood flow and stop the oxygen supply into the tissues and also around that area. Okay, now if a blood clot is formed in the coronary artery, the cardiac muscle may be damaged and cause heart attack. Yep, alright. And um, if the blood clot prevents the blood flow to the brain, a stroke may happen and the victim may be paralyzed. Now, how do we prevent this okay dvt i'll call it deep vein thrombosis okay we can prevent them by actually exercising regularly and you remain active if you are sitting on one spot you know you work in office and or you just sit the whole day uh you have to walk around and do some leg stretches from time to time okay and uh, it is also important to stay well hydrated and avoid alcohol consumption. Check your blood pressure regularly. If it's high, take necessary steps to lower it. Now, finding alternatives for birth control pills and hormone replacement therapy can actually reduce the risk of clotting. Okay, so avoid smoking. Smoking can actually cause blood vessel to tighten and then it can restrict the blood flow causing blood clots. Now, treatment. How do we treat this? Treat for DVT usually involves taking anticoagulant medicine. Anticoagulant medicine. Now, this will actually reduce the blood's ability to clot and also stop the existing clots to get bigger. Okay, so uh, heparin and warfarin. Okay, they are the two types of anticoagulant which often used to treat DVT, the deep vein thrombosis. Heparin is usually, usually prescribed first because it works immediately. To prevent further clotting and after the initial treatment you may also need to take warfarin to prevent other blood clot forming okay you'll also be prescribed a compression stocking to wear every day which will actually improve your symptoms and actually help prevent complications 
Okay, we are done. Okay, so we are done with all that. Now, if you are... Okay, you can answer the formative practice 10.4 from page 184 to test your understanding. Now, the question asked here is, number one, at the end of blood clotting mechanism, fibrin will be formed to trap erythrocytes, the red blood cells. Now, explain the meaning of fibrin and its function. Explain. Okay, and then describe two health issues related to blood clotting. already described earlier. So, if you can remember, put it down. Now, explain the mechanism of blood clotting. Okay, the chart is given that. Try to do it and explain why the formation of blood clots in the blood vessel can actually cause heart attack. Yeah, also already mentioned in the slides. So go through, learn again, uh, revise, make your notes and answer this question. Make sure you answer without any reference so you know whether you understand the topic or not. All right, so uh, the answers will be given in the description box below. Uh, yeah, I think that's all. So. Once you are done with all that, I will end my video here. Thank you for watching and please do not forget to like and subscribe my channel. Bye-bye.